Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to take a look in, in on the All Naturel bin. And for those of you who speak French for real, sorry about butchering that. Let's take off their lid here and see what is going on. Looks like I've got some gnats going on um, quite a bit. Might have to start doing something about that. Looking at the top, the, the caps of the acorns are kind of crumbly. That's good. Take off our little outside here and kind of dig through the bin and see what we've got. So these are not getting so much uh, and food like we do with the normal bins. I put about, I think it was 10 or 12, I'm going to have to watch the last video, of the large European night crawlers that I got from Gatano at northeastworms.com and I also put like a little piece of pumpkin in the corner in case just to act like you know fallen fruit from a tree so I'm trying to keep it nice and wet which would be what the uh, worms that feed on the surface would be used to Normally, you know, when they're super active, they are, um, you know, working through leaves that have, you know, fallen and it's rained and stuff like that. I'm going to try and bury this a little deeper. That's getting a little, a little dry. So I'm just going to kind of dig through and see how they're doing in the making castings department. Now, looking at the worms here, they don't look like they're having any trouble getting bigger, but what I do see that's new from last month is a baby. So, that's new, because uh, I just put adults in here, just large adults. And so, kind of trying to look for evidence that they're breeding. Of course, seeing a baby worm would be a good example of that. But in this leaf litter, it's kind of hard to see any sort of cocoon. So put in the comments uh, if you see any cocoons that I don't see. Because I am trying to look, but um, I'm not sure that's going to be something that's super obvious. Um, not, you know, counting out the worms, but it seems like the right amount of worms that I put in. I don't think anybody's died or anything. So I'm just kind of putting them off to the side in the corner. And then I'm looking. Oop, wait, there. There you go. Two cocoons right next to each other. So even though they're in a bin that doesn't have much in the way of fruit or anything, it's almost completely bedding and it's all leaves, there are a couple of cocoons. So. And you can tell they're good sized cocoons. Here's my thumbnail for reference. So they're good sized cocoons because they're good sized worms. So I'm just going to continue to try and make sure that there's no, you know, anaerobic spots in here. Kind of put the worms together in the same place. Like, hint, hint, guys, make more worms. Um, and then also see what I can find in the way of castings. And just looking at my hands not really seeing much in the way of castings. Now the goal is to look in on this about every month and uh, see what we can find. Put the dry stuff on the bottom. So we found cocoons, we found the worms, but we're really not seeing much in the way of any uh, piles of castings. Sometimes on a bin like this you'll find castings along the edge and I'm not seeing that at this point. So it's still too early to tell, but people have been asking what this this bin is doing, so I thought I would pop in for a quick look. They still have a little bit of their fallen fruit over there in the corner, um, so I'm not going to give them any more of that. The goal of this bin is to see what they would do in nature with, you know, leaves. Now this is a combination of whatever leaves happen to be in my yard. Uh, this is an oak leaf, but most of them will be maple leaves, apple leaf trees, um, redbud trees, and then whatever trees are in the park. So, um, you know, some things like the maple leaf will 
definitely go faster because it doesn't have as many um, compounds in it that the, li the little worms don't like. Oak leaves tend to go slower because they do have more of those compounds, which the name of it escapes me at this moment. But, so we're just going to cover them back up. They're, the moisture is good, they've got enough air, the worms look healthy, we found some cocoons. So I'm going to call it good for this experiment. Uh, put the comments below, how do you think this is going to go? Have you done this before? I would be interested. Now uh, we're going to have a playlist for the All Natural bin and uh, that way you can follow it from the beginning. But this is only like the second video, so there's not a whole lot to see quite yet. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.